Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or a bucket plugin tutorial. Um, so if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every Friday, sometimes more than once a week as I have time. If you have a suggestion for one that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the dribbles below and I'll capture that, give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is brought to you by Smarticle Entertainment, Trey De Bueno, and then Trey and Gavin Minecraft. So two Trey's uh suggested this so shout out to you guys thank you for suggesting this this plugin is awesome it is called grief protection or prevention sorry and it's by tux2 big scary and bc programming so shout out to you guys for making this fantastic simple easy to use plugin um it's highly configurable you can do whatever you want you can modify your messages but it's very simple and easy to use and what it uses is these three items here your chest your stick and a golden shovel so dependencies with it obviously it requires permissions plugin so highly recommend that however it does have a default setting for ops and normal users by default so you don't really need to do a whole lot if you have a pretty basic server setup you can pretty much just drop this one and it's good to go but we'll go over some configuration of it it also has an optional of using vault if you want to allow your users to buy or sell extra blocks now obviously it's compatible with world guard chess shop residence all that stuff It'll only conflict if you have a plugin that uses gold spade or a stick. So the first thing we're going to do actually is go over how it works. So we're going to do some player commands. So feel free to skip this part. Actually, I'm going to split it off into another video. And you can go ahead and check that video out if you want to see how it works. Or maybe it's for you know the people who just want to see how it works and are trying to figure out how to use it on a server. Um, so let's go ahead and feel free to jump over to this there okay so here we are in our plugin or our server so we're gonna go in our plugins then this is what's created so we're gonna go in there so a couple things to note about this config file so first of all welcome back if you jumped over to the other uh, tutorial here we here we are now setting up some of the things so if we go into messages um, this has all been reloaded. Okay, you can modify your messages, which I think is always cool when the plugin does that. It lets you customize it to be whatever you'd like for your server. And then you can go into your config file. So I'd highly recommend you get Notepad++ for this section because it color codes everything. It's just really easy to see. And we're just going to kind of run through this. So a couple things. Expiration. So you can set up an automatic expiration for your users and three different levels. The first level is if they've claimed a chest but haven't uh, expanded it or edited the area in it, it's automatically gonna become unclaimed within one week. And then unused claim days. So if they've claimed an area, maybe expanded it, but didn't really edit anything inside of it, it's gonna expire after two weeks. And then by default, it won't expire if they've done a lot of work in it, but you can change that to 60, 90, 120, whatever you want days. Um, the author kind of says, well, don't really do that because of survival. They do a lot of work and you want to see the epic builds on your server, but you can do whatever you want. Maybe you do want it to go away. So then you got an automatic natural restore. So by default, the survival worlds will not automatically restore back to default when it becomes unclaimed and in creative worlds, it will. He kind of justifies that by it doesn't take a whole lot of work to do your creative worlds. Maybe you got a creative world where people can work fly around and build whatever the heck they want um, you can set the worlds in here like you do for the allowed worlds for this plugin so if you have any other worlds that are not named this and you want this plugin to run on that you got to add it in here and then the creative worlds it's going to reset a claim when it becomes abandoned or expires it's going to reset it back to the what the previous state so by default, this is pretty much all the stuff you want by true. Maybe you want to allow theft if you have like a factions type server so you, people can steal stuff. Now this is the area. So initial blocks. So when somebody joins, they're allowed to claim 100 blocks. So that's a 10 by 10 area, which is the minimum size um, that they're allowed to claim. We'll talk about that in a second. And then they get 100 extra blocks per hour. I would kind of plan it. I would probably recommend bumping the initial blocks up a little bit um, just to let them be able to claim a bigger area. However, they'll have to build a gold 
shovel unless you give them that stuff when they join and then their maximum accrued blocks and then this is the automatic new player claims radius so when they place a block or a chest excuse me this is the uh, the radius that's going to claim uh if you do five it's not it's going to be too big for their initial blocks but it'll get them a good start and then this shows how far into the ground it will extend by default it's only five maybe you want to extend that further they can claim the, the land more when they go underground um but yeah if you want to have a, if you want them to rec be required to uh, have a permission to claim land, um, this will not affect the initial claim. This will only affect the shovel claim. So if you put this on true, then it's grief protection dot create claims is the per is the permission node. So minimum size, this is minimum size per side. So this is ten. This is to stop griefers from just claiming a long strip single strip of land. And then um yeah, so this is where you set your tools if you want to change it to something else. There is a command available for play players called trapped and that's just slash trapped and it'll teleport them back to the surface if they fall down a hole and they can't get out like it because it's an enclaimed area um that's in hours so by default it's eight maybe you want to lower it higher i don't know so if you want to be able to make it so people can only build inside their claim area which I don't know why you would, but some people do. You can set that to true. Now you can turn off the warnings when you're claiming out when they're building outside of a claim area. If you want to allow unclaiming creative mode, all that stuff. So I'm not really gonna go over that. This plugin has a built-in spam. This is gonna tell you the stuff that it's gonna monitor, and then it's actually pretty good. It'll ban people um, after they've um, offended it. You can set that false whatever you want and now uh you can also set your pvp to be off or on in worlds protected in at spawn for 10 seconds you can change your combat logout time period which i think is fantastic you can protect players in the admin claims or the player claims which we'll talk about the admin claims here after we're done with this here's where you can set your economy to purchase which it's zero so it's disabled and then they can purchase how much each block is going to cost. Now, this trees thing is really cool. So um, if somebody starts mining a tree, cutting it down, and then they stop, it's going to automatically drop that tree just to stop that stuff. And then it's going to replant it, which is pretty cool. whole lot of other stuff in here I'm not really going to go over. Um, Enderman blocks, database. This is for mods, which it, it works with TechIt and all that stuff, but um, yeah. All right, so that's all we got for the config file. Let's hop over, and I'm going to show you how some of the admin commands work here. So here we are. We're going to talk about some of the admin commands that you have as an administrator to run this plugin. It's really cool. So first of all, we want to get our golden shovel. You can claim areas of land um, as an admin claim. Now, this doesn't apply to your claim block level, uh, and it'll automatically set. So if you have like a town, like a spawn town, you probably want to claim the whole area area as an admin claim that way your players can't claim any areas in it um and then you could you know if you want them still to be able to build in it but not be able to claim it like you want like a public resource area claim the whole area and then you gotta set the trust levels so let's go ahead and uh change this so it's admin claims after you have your hoe there so we're gonna right click here and then we're just gonna claim it over here and bam so there we go we got that claim so that's the admin claim so now we can do trust and then if you do public that's going to allow the public to be able to um, edit it so here's a whole list of trust stuff that you can do um, same kind of similar thing as the players of that so after you've started an admin claim you can go back to a normal claim claim by doing a slash basic claims or just go off of the shovel in the back and it's going to go back to the basic claim mode um, so if you want to edit, even as an admin, you can't edit other people's land, which I think is pretty sweet, unless you do slash ignore 
claims, which will go over the permission nodes for all of this at the end. And then you can delete another player's claim by doing slash delete claim by when you're hovering over it, claim, or you can do delete all claims and then the player name. So that'll delete, uh, here I'll show you. So it's all claims and then the player name. And that will remove all of their claims. Like maybe you ban somebody, they're never coming back. You can delete all of their claims. Another fun thing you can do is uh, if you claim an area with the admin claim, you can then transfer the claim to somebody else by doing slash trans, transfer uh, claim and then the player. So then we've now given this to Zen Gamer, and it doesn't affect his uh, block claim level. So then you can also do your adjust cl uh, bonus claim blocks and you can give somebody more blocks or the shortcut is ACB um, and then, sorry, you got to use the player name in there. Another fun thing about this command is you do ACB and then put a bracket and then you can do um, builders now this this is creating a custom permission node so now anybody with this permission node mcf.builders will be able to claim a thousand blocks so you can give that to some of your your donors or whatever you want that's really cool and then you can do your claim list which i believe is available for anybody claims it's plural that's going to show you how many blocks you can claim and how many blocks you already have claimed whether clear well, i don't have the sound the sound on anyway or you can do claims list and then you can see somebody else's the location and how many blocks and all that stuff which is really cool the last bit is you're going to select your golden shovel and actually, I'm going to um, wand. Uh, we're going to, to destroy something. And expand three down, set zero. All right, so let's say we got something that doesn't look right. We can do a RN or restore nature command, and then that's going to select this. And then when we select an area, it's going to restore it. Now, if you notice that, it just kind of reset that surface stuff. So if we do like a if we just put some holes in the whatever and then do the same thing, it's going to fill that stuff in. So if you, as you can see, it fixes that stuff. Now, the next thing that you have is a restore na nature fill. So this is going to fill in this area. Um, and we could just uh, do that. We can right click and it's gonna fill in this hole. Now, what also you can do is if that still isn't doing what you need to, you can do restore nature aggressive, be aggressive. And then that's gonna restore this back to an, like, it's a little bit more advanced, so be careful with it. As you can see, it kinda did a little bit weird stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and fill this back in. Um, so that's really cool, I love that, that's so neat. Um, the last command that you have is death blow. So that's going to kill any player there. Now, the cool thing about that one is um, let me change my survive to survival mode. And then um, we're going to get rid of some of this stuff here. I think actually I gave this to him. So um, in the season, as you can see, I'm using... A lot of this stuff. All right, so let's say you get a complaint that somebody killed them and took all their stuff. You can do death blow and then their username. Now that's just going to kill them and it spread all their stuff everywhere. Or you can specify a username and when it kills them, it's going to give you give that person their stuff. And it looks like it just teleports them to you and then you have all their stuff. So that's really cool. This is a really neat, pretty straightforward simple to use plugin it gives a lot of options available to your users i love these land management plugins because it requires minimal effort from the admins to keep it going just to um it lets the 
puts a lot of the claims and grief protection and all that stuff in the hands of the players. I've done a few of these in the past. I've done Townie, and I believe I've done Precious Stones. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I wanted to at some point, and I didn't. I know I did Townie, and Townie's a great one. It's a little bit more expansive than this. Um, so if you're not looking for something that allows for nations and all that stuff, this actually does a lot of the stuff that Townie does. You can even start your own town with it by subdividing your claims and giving that out to other players, which is super cool. So might actually end up using this on my server. I'm not certain yet. But anyway, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll do my best to answer in the comments below. And um, yeah, so we'll hopefully we'll catch you guys next week. This is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Oh yeah, and you can download this server in the jib Jibbles, and it's 1.8. Bye. Frying pan of death. <laughs> Or cooking with death. That's what mine is. Oh, heads up, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, there's a big one.